Hi, welcome to our channel True Up. The mainland semiconductor market China behind the US in manufacturing and patents. It behind South Korea and Taiwan, but by implementing cutting-edge new chip design processes, it intends to outperform its competitors. In order to fit billions of transistors onto a chip the size of a fingernail, advanced processors used in 5G cell phones and certain workstations reduce the size of the transistor itself to 3 nanometers to 5 nanometers. Gate widths on most chips are 28 nanometers or more. It is incredibly challenging to etch small circuits on silicon wafers. EUV lithography devices, which utilize the short wavelengths at the extreme end of the ultraviolet, are only made by the Dutch company ASML. Transistors to such small sizes using the spectrum. The cost of constructing the matching factories might reach $20 billion each. The most sophisticated lithography equipment from ASML was to be exported to China, but the Dutch government was compelled to comply by the United States in 2020. As a result of ASML's utilization of USIP, Washington gains influence. However, ASML is still selling their older lithography technology, which employed deep ultraviolet DUV, light to etch 14 nanometers transistors. China has bought 81 such devices so far in 2021. Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC, the largest foundry in mainland China, is now producing 14 nanometers chips. SMIC, which makes up 5% of the worldwide foundry industry, is now behind competitors in Taiwan and South Korea but is fast growing. The D. Dutch government had been prompted by Washington, as Scott Foster and Jeff Powell wrote in Asia Times. Halt ASML sale of used DUV equipment to China. Executives from the semiconductor sector warned Asia Times that the Netherlands would not comply with U.S. demands. Sales of 81 deep violet lithography equipment will make up more than $2. 7 billion of ASML's total sales in China in 2021. SMIC, which makes up 5% of the worldwide foundry industry, is now behind competitors in Taiwan and South Korea but is fast growing. The Dutch government had been prompted by Washington, as Scott Foster and Jeff Powell wrote in Asia Times. Halt ASML sale of used DUV equipment to China. Executives from the semiconductor sector warned Asia Times that the Netherlands would not comply with U.S. demands. Sales of 81 deep violet lithography equipment will make up more than $2. 7 billion of ASML's total sales in China in 2021. Therefore, it seeks to tighten restrictions on China's access to state-of-the-art chip manufa, Turing machinery, and its allies. China won't be able to manufacture the 3 nanometers technology, but it will be considerably cheaper and more effective to package older 14 nanometers chips into 3D structures. The efforts of the Biden administration to stifle China's semiconductor sector seem to have failed. China has discovered methods and workarounds to get over the U.S. prohibition. Only 12.7% of China's entire domestic consumption was made up of domestically produced chips in 2011, with the remainder coming FR. OM imports. By 2021, it generated 17% of domestic consumption, and by 2030, it is anticipated to contribute 30%. Chip imports from China were the greatest single export in its foreign commerce in 2020, amounting to $378 billion. China has pushed towards self sufficiency in response to U.S. pressure, increasing the probability that by the turn of the century, China's chip sector will overtake all other producers on the planet. Shanghai Microelectronics, a manufacturer of semiconductor equipment, H. Has been one of the top performers on the Chinese stock market this year, rising 25% year-to-date while ASML, the market leader, is down 45%. Shanghai Micro's net revenue increased from 133 million yuan in 2020 to 573 million yuan, $85, 2 million, in 2021 as a result of limitations on the selling of sophisticated semiconductor equipment in China.
The worldwide chip scarcity has become a universal, with the exception of China, where geopolitics provide chances for the industry, since most major EC. Onomis are in or on the verge of recession. In order to stop China from purchasing chip manufacturing equipment, the Biden administration is mulling additional regulations. This seems to be a reaction to improvements in China's chipmaking processes, including sophisticated packaging. The biggest winners of the tech battle are Chinese chip manufacturing businesses. Shanghai Microelectronics is said to have sold its first 28 nanometers machines. Shanghai Microelectronics is China's top manufacturer of Li. Photography equipment that can satisfy the nation's need for older generation devices at 90 nanometers and higher. China accounted for 11% of global semiconductor production capacity in 2010. By 2030, that percentage is predicted to increase to 24%. An OECD analysis found that between 2014 and 2018, 86% of all government funding to chipmakers came from China's $170 billion National Integrated Circuit Fund. In the meanwhile, Congress has failed to approve a $52 billion plan to support American Semico. Inductor Manufacture Due to legislative bottlenecks, TSMC and Intel both postponed their planned July 22 groundbreaking ceremonies for semiconductor factories in Arizona and Ohio, respectively. There is no longer a need for more because of the sudden decline in the semiconductor sector and the possibility of a chip surplus after a worldwide shortage in 2020-2021. SMIC has lost around 8% of its market value as of 2022 whilst TSMC has lost 36%. The lithography machine is a significant barrier to China's ambitions to establish a high level of independence in chip manufacture. Modern chip etching circuits with gate widths of 7 nanometers or below using EUV lithography equipment. They can only be made by Samsung and TSMC. The Trump administration outlawed exporting phones and convinced the Dutch government to ban the sale of EUVs to China. Smartphones and a few professional applications, along with 14 nanometers and higher process chips, account for 95% of the global chip demand, despite SMIC having just 5% of the market. China has no trouble establishing its 5G base station network with mature process technology chips, but Huawei's 5G mobile phone company crumbled without acquiring 7 nanometers and below chips. The history of human creation of chips often spans more than 50 years. We won't be able to tell in a few decades whether the conventional process path can lead to a larger breakthrough. Thanks for watching our video. We would appreciate it if you subscribed our channel and gave us a thumb. See you.